It's a horrific story out of Amory tonight. We know the March tornado left the community in ruins, but some families have even more trauma to deal with after the storm was over. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says two people stole the identities of tornado victims in Amory. WTVA's Sammy Roebuck joins us live tonight to tell us the very latest. Sammy. Yes, the March tornado wrecked the Amory community. That includes the Nix family who lost everything in the tornado. Not only did they lose their home, but their identity was also stolen. I actually cried in the bathtub that night. I just felt uh, relief because I'm like, See, we weren't lying. You know, people do do this. The blank lot behind me is where Chassie Nix and her mother used to live. It's all gone now. And right across the street is where they took shelter during that horrific tornado. That's how we first met Chassie Nix. She videotaped the entire experience and posted it to YouTube. Y'all let me stay at my house. And of course you don't sleep right after. I mean, where do you sleep when it's destroyed your home, you know? Nix found out someone has stolen her identity. So she spent the last two months trying to get assistance. She says organizations told her someone already claimed on her house. This has been more traumatizing to me than the actual tornado because I was in a shelter and I knew I was protected, but that after just, I mean, no one believing us at that point. And we really just had to take it in our own hands and prove that we are who we say we are and what was going on before it got out of hand. According to Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Jason and Carol Coffey are responsible. The Sheriff's Office arrested the pair last week in Aberdeen. They are currently charged with two counts of felony false pretense. I mean, it just makes you sick, you know, to know that, that, that people can be okay with doing that, you know, and, uh, and have no remorse for it, you know, just hoping they don't get caught. Jason is out on bond and Carol is still sitting behind bars. The case is under investigation right now. I did reach out to FEMA to have an interview with them and they declined to comment about the case as it's still under investigation. We will keep you updated as we know more. Live in Amory, Sammy Roebuck for WTVA 9 News.